Um, the next question is, it's from Australia. Beside gold and silver, can we use Bitcoin? It's an online currency system and it exists separately from the Zionist controlled banking system. Australia, my answer is stay away from all money which has no intrinsic value. What is the meaning of intrinsic? It's a, an English word which is seldom used, so there might be some who might not know the meaning of the word intrinsic. Stay away from all money in which the value of the money is not inside the money. No. If the value of the money is inside the money, then that is, that is halal money. That is valid money. But if the value of the money is fictitious, it is not... Once it is not inside the money, it's fictitious. It can be controlled by a number, a basket of currencies and all kinds of stuff. It must be value which is inside the money. Because whatever is outside the money can be manipulated. Yes, have you ever heard about insider trading? Hmm? The value that is outside of the money can be changed. as constantly changing. Constantly changing. The government of the United States of America changed the value of gold. In 1930, what? 30, was it 31? 33. In 1933, April 1933, the US government made it prohibited for anyone to keep gold in the United States. You gotta give the gold to the Federal Reserve Bank. And if you did not do it by the 1st of March, you could go to jail. 10 years in jail. That's a long time. Is it 10 years? Let me see. Uh, ten, yes, 10 years in jail. 10 years imprisonment or $10,000 fine. That's a long time in jail. 10, 10 years. If they catch you with gold. That's what the U.S. government did. And they say they are Christians. What kind of Christianity is that? Jesus will probably throw that out of the window. You are not Christians. No. Prohibiting people from keeping gold. Are you God that you should do that? And then after the people had given their gold to the U.S. government and they got 20 U.S. dollars in exchange for every one ounce of gold, guess what the U.S. government did? Uh, they changed the price of gold. Made it $35 an ounce. So the people lost 40% of their wealth. The U.S. government stole like a thief. We should cut off your hand for that. Stole 40% of the wealth of the people by simply changing the value of the paper money. But I have another question to ask today. Why did the U.S. government ask that the money be given to the Federal Reserve? Is the Federal Reserve Bank owned by the U.S. government? Huh? Is that a relevant question? No. The Federal, <laughs> Federal Reserve Bank is not owned by the U.S. government. The Federal Reserve Bank is a privately owned bank. Yes. A privately owned bank controlled by the Rothschild family, a Jewish banking family. That's right. I'm not anti-Semitic. I have respect for Judaism, you know. Come with that rubbish. Why did the U.S. government demand that all the people of the United States must make the Federal Reserve Bank of the United States own privately to get 40% of the wealth of the people? Become 40% of the wealth of all of the Americans now are gone to these people who own the bank? Is that just? Or is it unjust? It's wholesale robbery. That's what it is. 
Money, if it does not have intrinsic value, is at the peril of those who can change the value of the money and cause it to constantly lose value. And as the money loses value, you're going to have to have negotiations with the government for new salary increases and back pay and all of this nonsense because the money is losing value all the time. And as the money loses value, there is a massive transfer of wealth from the unsuspecting innocent masses to a predatory global elite, but based most of all in the United States of America, in Britain, in France, in Germany, in the hard currency part of the world. They are ripping off the rest of mankind. Africa today is miserably poor, thanks to them. So no, I would not suggest bitcoins, because bitcoins do not have intrinsic value.